What's up, guys? I've um, been asked a few times to do a Marcus Mariota breakdown, so uh, today I wouldn't. And another thing that I was asked is to do a throw on the run, and I think that doing one on Marcus Mariota would be a uh, would be a good idea. So we'll get right on into the breakdown here. So when one of the key things that you want to work on when you're throwing on the run is that you're running towards your target. Okay, and so you can see that as Marcus comes around here, it's a play action fake. He is getting around the, the, the hoop and starting to run back towards the target to make it so then he can get as much of his weight going forward or um, at where he's trying to throw. Okay, and he, when he jumps, I know we're kind of seeing this from the side, but he's jumping at kind of an angle going off to the side, and that's better than at least throwing off to the side here. I see a lot of times when uh, quarterbacks are going to throw, they end up throwing and kind of tailing off to the side when really you should be throwing and coming right towards the target right here, you know, when there's a timing thing as well. So if you can't get around all the way in time, then sometimes you have to get rid of it before uh, you really want to, but um, at least he's moving somewhat forward, which is a, a good thing to, to do. Another thing is, if you're a right-handed uh, quarterback, you want to be throwing off of your right foot. So you can see how he's stepping down with his right foot and he's coming through from there. That's an important part, and, and I think most people know that we want to be able to do that. And then also, you really want to do a good job loading with the hips. Again, I think this was a timing thing with, for Marcus, and unfortunately in, in the videos, this is really the best um, on-the-run throw we could find. So we can, couldn't find one where he, he did it really well and also can get a great angle. But... He, uh, you want to get those those hips and those shoulders around to really be able to load the throw and then throw from there. You can see he kind of, and he has a tendency to do this within his actual throw as well, where he opens up those hips a little bit early. But here he's stepping, he opened up those hips a little bit early. But what he does very, very well, and this is an important thing to, to think about, um, especially from a pitcher standpoint, I always talk to pitchers about make sure you're getting vertical within your throw. He does a great job when he's, when he's coming up and through here is getting vertical pushing off that front leg and generating a lot of torque from there, and that's what makes that throw such a good throw. Okay, and you can see it was very, very accurate as he uh, ended up going through it. So that's that one. Next one is a deep ball. I'm going to get it from the other angle here. So the part where Marcus is very, very good, and this is kind of similar to, to Cam Newton, is getting those hips through very early, and he does a great job being accurate. So you can see how he gets down and starts getting those hips going as soon as he can, and then he's big and rotating within that, that upper spine. So look at how much torque he creates within that left shoulder and spine as he's coming through. And that's where, and then he's also, you know, this is a, an important part that we always try to talk about is that that left hip is very, very stable. He's not rotating much in or not moving much in that, that hip, uh, at least not falling off to the side. He's just kind of rotating around that left hip, and it's it's just holding in all of the, the weight form. You can tell he's got a lot of range motion within that femur and that hip joint as he's transferring all his weight off that back leg, pressing forward, hard there on a vertical throw too you can see how he starts from an athletic position starts rising up and rotating all the way around very good throw he comes a little bit too far um to the side so you could do a better job of getting that elbow right through but he gets the ball a little bit behind his head so he becomes a big elbow thrower he can work a little bit on that getting that the uh, nose of the football facing forward a little bit more and i think that would help him out a lot but he's already accurate he has a lot of really good things going for him so you know it's hard to critique too much of what he, his current success is. And here's the last throw. What we can see here is he does a good job pushing off that back leg. And you can really tell that what he does, he loads down as he's beginning of the throw, and then he's going to push up and get his velocity from that upward vertical force in, in the leg in, in order to really generate that throw. And then he's also going to use that left shoulder to get all the way around. So he's bringing a lot through his T-spine. Probably he's very strong with those obliques. And, and really the obliques is something that I try a lot to build on both from a speed and a throwing perspective, and I bet you he, that one of the reasons why he's as fast as he is is because he has such strong obliques as well. So I think that's an, another important thing to think about um, as an athlete is you really want to be developing those obliques at a young age and start understanding how to use the muscles within the mid-spine uh, and within the ribcage in order to generate force both overhead 
and also as, as you're trying to run. So you can see, you know, get that vertical force, especially, you know, your pitchers out there, you really want to get a vertical press off that mound. Marcus does a good job doing that. And then also get full rotation within that upper body. Be nice and stable on that left leg. Can really, really help you out. Let me know if you have any questions about the video or if you have any other uploads you'd like to see. You know, that can throw, throwing on the run stuff is, is, is some cool stuff there. Um, and then, yeah, also check out our membership. we got a cool membership that, that gives you more information about both how to run faster, also how to throw better, both from a pitching and a quarterback perspective. Also got more videos on YouTube and, and a lot more to come. We usually post them every Wednesday and Saturday. We'll post a new breakdown video. So stay tuned, and we'll have some new stuff coming to you shortly.